are you <laughs> just so we have that on Maybe camera it's just like no product placements <laughs> no. <laughs> before i film i always take a refreshing drink of <laughs> <laughs> Who are you and why? Starting with either of you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll pick. Okay. Who is Paul? I'm Paul, Irish. Yeah. Uh, well, I work on performance stuff, DevTools, Lighthouse, and I do it because I love the web. Like it, Good save. Like it to be fast. Good. About it. And now you. Uh, I'm <laughs> Jason, Jason Miller, uh, and I work on speed and loading stuff. Uh, and I do it because I had a slow phone once, and it was a pretty poor experience. And so I uh, oh hashtag relatable. Yeah, very relatable. I mean, I still live you know in North America, so I have it pretty good. But uh, slow phone will kind of let you know what's going on. Yeah. So you did your talks today, right? You had the glorious 8:30 spot in the morning. In the morning, you were speaking to an audience of about one or two. Yes. Yeah. Captive audience. Excellent. Yeah, that was the two of you. But I mean, yes. those people really cared. That's, that's the upside. That's why they put the mirror up at the back. We, we missed your talk uh, because we were filming. We weren't filming. Right. No, we, we, we were, were sleeping. We, we, yeah, we were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> but can you, like, were so you we don't. Were film while you slept? So, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so we don't have to watch the video. Can you just give us, like, the 30 second version of it? You can change any website you want to with DevTools and then reload, and those changes are still there. I love what? that feature. Yeah. Yeah. I used it yeah. this morning. So, <laughs> so what, what can I change? Uh, change, change the CSS, HTML. change the HTML, change the JavaScript. Anything that comes down over the network. Yeah. Anything, so, anything that comes down over the network. Yeah, Literally yeah. anything. Anything that you usually change in DevTools, plus more, I mean. What if it's changed on disk as well? What if the thing that's served from the network has changed and you've made changes? How does that figure that out? Uh, it just always takes yours. Yeah, yeah, oh, it always takes yours. So Even you, if service workers involved and anything so, like that. So you break it, you pay. Yeah. Yes. It's yours now. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Right. I mean, it's a dev tool feature. You, you, you know what you're doing, supposedly. Well, I don't know. It could have done some clever diffing and then, like, conflict resolving. No, no, no. you okay, own okay. the entire file. Yeah, yeah. we bump. Okay. And then you can unown it? Yes. Uh, yeah, you just delete that overriding file. Oh. It's actually a file on disk, uh, which is so also cool. the changes cool. you made, you can actually. Yeah, you can open up an disk, editor. You can open an editor and then just play around there and then just refresh. And now. So I don't have to edit in DevTools. I can actually go to, into no. my. Actual edit. Yeah. That's nice. Cool feature yeah. we didn't show. Uh, if you have an image, you can drag an image on top of the image in the network tab, and it'll override it locally. What does this look like? How does this act if, if my like banner image is going to fail or something? Yeah, yeah. Just drag an empty image. image. Yeah. That's a lot. It's nice because you know a lot of things. Doing the actual change like on the back end for real takes a, a bit of work. Yeah, yeah. You can mock out like an error, mock out anything, any potential case. And the other nice thing is like we also showed in performance kind of uh, scenarios. Say, for instance, you wanted to see what would happen if I added link rel preload for whatever assets, yeah. and you could just try that out just in the HTML, right? And not change nice. all the things that need Well, to that's go. something that I have waited for a long time, in a way, because we had a similar feature that covered the thing with workspaces, and it was a, yeah. a lot more complicated. Yeah. But it's so useful, especially here when people walk up and say, Can you help me with this problem? You don't want to like fiddle around with their dev server exactly. or whatever. You just right. go, Cool little thing too. There's now a changes drawer you can pull up. Changes drawer shows you like a diff of everything you've done locally compared to the There's server your diffs. copy. Oh, yeah. So this, we get diffing in there. Unified diff of every change to every file that, yeah. that you made. The only thing it doesn't have is ML. So at machine learning. Yes. Not yet. Oh. Probably it will be at some point. Oh, it's, it's it definitely just, just writes the page yeah. for you. So, so, so is that it? Is that DevTools now? Like, you know, just is that one new feature, uh, and we're calling it for another year. DevTools in another, <laughs> another feature next year. That's it. Yeah, it's, Paul goes into hibernation. I go off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jason showed some async debugging stuff. Yep, you can now step into async functions. So you can step into a set timeout, and you'll get dropped off inside of the callback you pass to the set timeout. Mm, yes. I, I, I tested it in Canary, and it works with post message, and it makes me so happy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Step across thread boundaries with yeah. post message. You can step into the worker constructor, and it'll drop you off in the first line of the worker. What is a worker constructor? Oh, new worker. New worker. worker. Yeah. Sorry. Where are you from? Where, yeah, where are you from? <laughs> Someone's getting tired. Can we can we have a nap? <laughs> we'll, we'll continue this in an hour. Sunstroke. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting a class, but it's not. <laughs> Any, anything that's venable, uh, just step into that. It'll right, yeah. step oh, into even if it's, the then. Also, so, even if it's not an official V8 promise, yes. if it's venable, we can. Yeah. Yeah. That's so something amazing. I haven't tried, but I was I'm meaning to ask. I can have multiple message listeners on the worker side. Yes, but untested. They're so. sort of stepping through all I the mean, listeners. People who yeah. do that just don't deserve a good debugging experience. 
What? Well, adding multiple <laughs> listeners? <laughs> multiple <laughs> message <laughs> listeners in a worker. That's, That's just a legitimate seem- thing. I mean, sure. why? How did, okay, you've written a library that does like message handling stuff. You'll oh, be I adding a listener. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then I might have my, my own stuff I want message to listen to in a lower thing. Yeah. So and then you like, have to listen, you have to distinguish if this message, nah, nah. Does your library not support that? I, I'm just, <laughs> just talking amongst yourselves, I'm just going to be filing I, I an issue <laughs> on Comlink. Oh. So, okay, so what's next? With, oh, is there anything else before I, I start really asking what's go next? Out. We can go deeper. Yeah. We showed a feature, uh, a new feature called Eager Evaluation. Mm. Ah. Oh, I've seen this. I was wondering what it means. Yeah. So you're in the console and you type out something in the console, right? But before you hit enter, you get the result. Five, five, five. That sounds obnoxious. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I call it belligerent console. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like prefetching in Chrome. You just mm. type, you guys already <laughs> fetching it. You're like, stop it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit like proactive of the console. We'd be like, hey, I know you're not done, but but here you go. So does it like does it do it with functions or mostly properties? Or uh, great question. Great question. Everything that it can. So definitely including functions. What about side effects? Yeah. Exactly. So. Oh. They've. V8 has worked to introduce a new mode where we can guarantee there are no side effects for whatever this is. So if there's, if we see that a side effect is about to be caused, we just bail evaluation. Isn't that yeah. meltdown inspector? What? what? Like they, 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 they assume they're going down a path, then they have to roll back. Oh, meltdown inspector! I thought you said that melts the inspector. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just imagine all, know? The, all the pixels going down the screen. <laughs> and now we are back to our surreal oh. approach to this episode. <laughs> We've got this bug again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Salvador Dali mode. <laughs> oh, oh, the clock's melting again. We shouldn't have had eager evaluation. Yeah. We shifted too early. Uh, that sounds good. I'm guessing it's get, it gets a bit iffy if I do like if you like eager evaluate fetches. So you can't and, eager evaluate fetch because that's a side effect. Yeah. But uh, right like now, it's sort of yeah. run it no side effect. stuff. Yeah, yeah, has side effects. Um, so but just like, don't do that. Then. So no, but you can do something. So in our demo, we showed uh, you can JSON parse a string, and it will run the JSON parse. There's no side effect there. Okay. And then you can like look at the uh, at the drop down menu for suggestions, and it will include properties from the JSON you parsed. Okay. Yeah. It has what, never been run. What if I change the array constructor? Right, and then pass some JSON. Then you're That's a bad like, person. No, it depends. If you change yeah. the array constructor to an implementation that doesn't have side effects, you're, you're good. good. Is it, it, will, it will detect oh, yeah. that yeah, yeah. array implementation. It goes it's like, all the way down. It. And I know because I tried to break this for like two hours. So, so what, how, how is a like side effect defined here? It's, I, guess, I guess it's if the method is just is affecting anything outside of its closure. Mutating I guess. States. Yeah, yeah, anything outside of outside of this. So, so you can have yeah, you can have functions. You, you, there's yeah, a lot that can happen, happen inside of this. Yeah. But yeah. for instance, we, we demoed um, uh, with regular expressions uh, the exec method. Turns Which out, is side effecty. Well, technically speaking. only on the regular expression. Exactly. Yes, on the expression, right? But then uh, regular expressions, um, what match and test? Yeah. Those affect the global regex constructor. Turns what? out, little known fact. On them. I, I learned this last night. Jason, regex constructor dot dollar sign underscore is the previous match from string dot match. There's also dollar sign one through nine I and didn't last know that. match. Yep, that is disgusting. Never use these. <laughs> <laughs> so because those exist, we they are side effects, and so uh, match and test can't be used under Stay this. Stay tuned for my upcoming so campaign to discontinue is, is those. Is there like, <laughs> like a little checkbox where I can enable in this LS feature? Because I'm just wondering like, if I have a for loop that does like 10 million iterations yeah. and it takes like 20 seconds to evaluate. I might want to disable it on every key. Uh, sure. Right now, uh, <laughs> it is opt-in, uh, okay, cool. so so that we handle some of these cases. Like yeah. like we do handle the case of you have an infinite loop, uh, like we know, and so we won't hang your browser. But uh, it's like rubbing it in the face. There may be some other oh, yeah. things. So as we refine those, it'll be opt-in. But I expect at some point, I hope that we will be able to just turn it on for everybody. Honestly, how I do played I with this for hours and it, I never managed to break it. And I was That's cool. really trying. How, how, how do I opt in? Uh, so grab Chrome Canary, uh, open up console. There's a little settings cog to add the console settings um, where you can like turn on timestamps. It's right in there and it says your ah, evaluation. Cool. Oh, OK. Right. Good after I play with that. Yeah. Brilliant. That's All right. So, so what's next then? What, what's DevTools going to do now? Like next 12 months? Well, Right as we finished the talk, <laughs> roadmap. We got, a, we got we did get a screenshot sent over from uh, some of the engineers on the DevTools team, showing us something that they just landed today, and neglected to tell us about Are we yesterday. To say this? Um, and for the first time, turns out it's I/O. Uh, do you want to explain it? 
So I, when we were looking at, at uh, the Eager Eval, I was thinking, it would avoid a lot of me pulling up MDN if you could show the parameters that DOM methods and stuff like that accepts. Yes. They're there in Chrome. We have the web IDL. Right, and, and even if we didn't, this TypeScript has documented this stuff as well. Yeah. So This works. Dun, oh. dun, dun. Yeah. Brilliant. OK, so just like the names of the parameters. What about things that take different, like, uh, sort of overloaded, yeah? Not Who sure. knows? Oh, it landed today. <laughs> we got one screenshot. Let me go ask the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut these people some slack. Okay, okay. Sorry, I, I think it's, I'm only asking questions because I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, that, that, well that's, that's an exercise that, for, that's the, a good one, for yeah. the listener. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Some people like look into more more visual debugging for layouting and stuff. Is that something we're looking into? Um, I mean, I think there's some good potential there. Like between uh, working with Flexbox, working with Grid, yeah. I know that I always have to like go and like look up documentation or like find yeah. a tool yeah. where I can just like prototype things out. We have uh, some CSS variable stuff today for that. Like you yeah. can see p color previews for your variables, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it like, kind of knows is able to pierce through, find element specific variable values. Yeah. So yeah, that stuff's there. I think some of the layouty things are a little bit more tricky to find out a design that like both handles the case of I'm creating something brand new and yeah. like I have an existing layout, I want to tweak it, want to work with it. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just, oh. Sure, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's what we're Because we've got this problem that they, well, Flexbox and Grid as well, that the default layout in a lot of them is stretch, which leads to this kind of multi-pass layout thing, right? You, you, you lay out the first box, go to the second box, it's bigger, so it needs to go back to the first box, change the size of that, and so on and so on. And it's, yeah, and there's no way of knowing that's happening, right? It's, right. It's, so, yeah. If, We've been talking about adding warnings for some of these things. Your layout may be slow. Yeah, no information yeah. about it, just, you know, just letting you know. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. a good first step. Possibly <laughs> expensive layout. Route. Leave room for improvement as well. That's yeah. probably good. Yeah, or we're going to have announcements at each event. I was just wondering if you'd been sent a screenshot of anything that solves that this morning. <laughs> no, no <laughs> screenshot. Can so I could doctor one for you. Like, but, do you uh, want to check your email now, just in case? <laughs> <laughs> like, it seems like this stuff's landing really fast. Yeah, exactly. Well, every time we think of a feature, one of the guys on the DevTools team sends us a screenshot saying, I already did this. <laughs> so. Oh, well, I have ideas. Maybe I should do this as well. Oh, yeah, just send just them an email. Just have ideas, and then some magically they appear. Yeah. That seems like a fun job to that have. That doesn't happen to me. My, my, uh, my bugs get rejected for DevTools. <laughs> so I've, I've, for ages, I've wanted disable all non website fonts. Can we make that happen? Because I, I, I forget that I have all the fonts installed. Yeah. 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 Robot will install. Yeah. yeah. And and what was the other one? Li-Fi. I want Li-Fi in network mode. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. So Sorry, what, what, what is missing for Li-Fi? You can. They didn't like. They didn't like the name. Oh, you just <laughs> want the name. Uh, yeah. You want your brand. I want my brand in there. Li-Fi. Li oh, you just have your face in I mean, there. Just I mean, like make Li-Fi into like a real, real thing. Like get it in. Get a consortium. Uh, get it in the dictionary. Well, I was hoping to get it in the dictionary through this. Like, this is the uh, different uh, way. I don't know if get it into my condo there. Uh, <laughs> Do you have Li-Fi as your own preset in DevTools? Yes, I do. Of course you do. Yeah. Share it as like a little gist. Just a gist. Okay. Okay. 